Flu season is well underway. Have you gotten your shot, though? According to the latest data from the Houston Health Department, the numbers are spiking. That's just over the last five weeks. And Chris Costa talks with a pediatrician. Chris, is this uh, more of the same or is there cause for concern here? No huge cause for the concern yet, Len. That pediatrician I spoke to, she told me just in the past two weeks, she's been seeing more patients with severe flu-like symptoms. The health department says this recent spike is nothing uncommon, and they are urging people to follow the rules to help them keep it that way. Uh, the kids are coming in really sick, high fevers and a lot of cough that's been keeping them up at night. Kids ages five and under are most at risk. They made up 35% of the most recent data, according to the Houston Health Department. In the last five weeks, the percentage of emergency center visits for the flu in Houston jumped from 1% to almost 4%. We always are going to see a fairly rapid increase in the number of flu cases because it is so contagious and it just spreads from person to so very easily. There's no cause for alarm yet. The health department is keeping an eye on the totals. The big question, is this year's flu shot ineffective? Doctors say that only happens once every 10 years or so. But at this point, we have no reason to suspect that the flu vaccine is not a good match for the virus that's going around. And there are a lot of myths, like the flu shot will get you sick. Doctors say it can't. And in the past, it's been 70% effective. The flu is a very tricky virus. It likes to change itself a little bit continuously. Scientists change the flu vaccine a little bit every year. This year, the vaccine covers four strands, two of type A and two of type B, the kinds that cause seasonal epidemics. The health department says it's not too late to get your flu shot. The flu is here. It is spreading. And so people need to do those things that they can do to protect themselves and their family members from getting the flu. The health department says statistically every person who's infected with the flu will infect at least one other person. And they say the biggest hygiene rule that most people break is coming to work when they're feeling sick. Len? It got you. Thanks, Chris.